What's up everyone and welcome back for more Ocarina of Time. In the last episode I started my chicken hunt and part 2 of the chicken hunt starts right now. So, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're having a great day so far. Let's see, is it in here? No, wait a minute. There's one over there, there's one up there. Is there another one over there which I miss? I can't possibly imagine that I missed there. Miss one there, man. Else I'll just steal one chicken. Because I can. Or is it perhaps in those boxes? Yeah, there is the one I meant. Get here. Come on. Here, little cocoa. Come on. Get here. Thank you. And now what I'm gonna do is walk all the way to the top. And you'll see in a moment because I'm running along with a chicken flapping its wings. And what I'm gonna do here is make a little jump and land up here. And can I just the chicken nose there? And then I go down and walk all the way up. Let's show this one as well over the fence, and then we will climb up. All the way to the top of some sort of Kakriko village, and there is the remaining chicken. So now I got all three over the fence. All I now gotta do is grab them all and bring them to the Kaka lady. So I'll see you in a moment. And there we go. Thank you for finding my cacos. I have aller allergies, so I got goosebumps when I touch them. Then why are you holding cocos? That's the question. For helping me, I will guess this to you. It's fine glass, and should be useful. Please take good care of it. And we got our second bottle. And we really need that. Because bottles are really important. Now what I'm gonna do is... Open up the gate. Then wait for the knight to appear to return to Kakariko Village. I'm not gonna do that by opening this gate. And then we're gonna do some stuff in the graveyard. Well, wait a minute. Screw it, I'm gonna do it graveyard right away because I get a song which I need. Which I really need, actually. No, please don't tease my cuckoos. Yeah, I know. Shut up. So he's running along like a moron, and we are gonna go on to here. Welcome to Kakariko's Graveyard. Now there's a little kid there. He will be important later, but ignore him for now. What we're actually gonna do... ...is go to the Royal Tombstone... ...or Tombstone, actually. Which is here. And play... We know... We play Zelda's lullaby to prove our connection to your royal family, and perhaps something will happen. And everybody knows that left up right actually looked like a Triforce. So for some reason it started raining incredibly... Yeah, a lot of rain. Lightning strikes, and it, for some reason it turns a little bit darker. And... This is where it... The tombstone blew up. Okay. So we're gonna go in here. I don't know what's in there, but let's just go in. Alright. Now we need... Oh, wait. Headshot. Now there is one over there as well. And one down there. And there's one at the right as well. Miss. Oh, I missed. And that's actually it already. Um, there will be something of important use later, but that's nothing for now. It, we need to light these torches, but we need Dins Fire for that, and we don't have Dins Fire yet. Now, meet my best friends in this game. <coughs> these are the Red Hats, and the Red Hats, all they do is just scream. By screaming, they make you stunned. And then they will just sit on your back and suck the hell out of you. And since I have a huge grudge against these bees, I'll try to avoid getting stunned. I'll look out. 
thank you. I really, 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 really don't like those things. Now there is notes here. So let's read what's up here. This poem is dedicated to the memory of the dearly departed members of the royal family. The rising sun will eventually set, a newborn's life will fade. From sun to moon, moon to sun, give peaceful rest to the living dead. This is an interesting poem, huh? Something is inscribed in the tombstone. It's the secret melody of the composer brothers. The sun song. Keep the sun song in your heart. Well, technically what the sun song does, and that's why I really wanted it earlier, it swaps day and night. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I know. That's better. And day turns into night, and night turns into day. Whatever you play the sun song, it will work everywhere, if I recall right. And as you can see, day turned into night. You've learned the sun song. Which is good. Restless souls wonder where they don't belong. Bring them call with the sun song. Well, what that does actually is um, stun the red dead so that you actually kill them. Where are they actually? Is there one over there? I'm gonna try to kill one. Just because I can. Where is it? Yeah, this one's good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Oh, the other two are walking already. Damn it. I'll just ignore those two. Because eight hits is quite a lot. Yeah, the bigger one sword later makes it two hits. Literally. But yeah. So let's go up. And where the large tombstone was. Whoa. That's what's that? Oh wow. Well. That's a bow, let him be. Apparently there is a hole somewhere here. That's a, another bow. Yeah, get away. Thank you. Well, somewhere here is a hole. No, not another bow. Is it here? You see God's culture up there, but I can't, I can't reach it yet because I need a boomerang, which I don't have. There is something here. Let's go in. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yep, there's a red out there, and I need to kill it. One, two, th three, four, five. Oh, he's in the torch. That's not good. That's not good at all because I can't hit him right now. Come on! Don't you dare to stun me! Don't you dare to stun me! Seven, eight, die! Thank you. And I believe playing the sun songs here. If I recall right, I hope I do. Reveals the chest which I need. It is really well hidden, but... Let's open it up. And let's see what's in there. It is my fourth heart piece, which means I completed the heart container. And now I've got five hearts. Awesome job. Shut up. I know. Seriously, get lost. So, what we need to do, it's still night for some reason. I don't know why, but it's still night. Oh, that's down by the gravekeeper. But what you need to do is... Yeah, you just walk along. Hey kid, no man's around with graves. I'm Dumpy the gravekeeper. My face may be scary, but I'm not a bad guy. Let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Dump the Gravekeeper's heart pounding grave digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Do you want me to dig here? Yep. Um okay. Well apparently there is a heart piece somewhere, and we need to let Dump it dig this heart piece, so Gosh he's slow. Seriously. Hurry up, ugh. I'm probably gonna fast forward this because I need to collect some rupees as well. And yeah. This is gonna take a whole Jesus, hurry! What the fuck are you doing? Yes, yes, very good. Stop right there. 
dick, please. Another five rubies, which means I'm short. Darn it! So I'll see you in a moment. I'm gonna go to um, what's it called? Um, wait a minute. There is something else I'm gonna do first. Because if I recall correctly, I got eight of these, so I'm gonna find two more. And there's one over here. Which means I got nine. And then I need to find myself another one here. Which is, if I recall right, in this tree. Ow. One, owl, two, die. And now I got ten. Which means... That I can get something I really, really need. Which is here. This is the House of Sculpture Line. There will be like these. Cursed humans in the form of... Yeah, spiders. And if you collect gold sculptures, you will free each and every single one of them. And we already did free one because we got ten, so let's talk to this guy. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And this is really useful. It is an adult's wallet, so we are allowed to carry up to 200 rupees. Which I need. So that's a good job. Anyways, I decide to cut it off here. And um, I'm going to see you back at the graveyard with 200 rupees in the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, sub. Take care, y'all, and thanks for watching.